is up guys it's so bash welcome back we are back with some more mobile legends today we are checking out the new hero hilda now we are on the advanced server we're testing things out um i'm playing against computers currently just to test the basic uh builds that they have uh this build that i'm using currently is the continuous damage build that is pre-built from the game and uh the skills everything we went over all the abilities for the character in a video previously uh, so what this one's gonna do is increase the speed and then do physical damage and this one is going to lock on an enemy pursuit and it can be released okay this is the one that uh, you can use several different times and there's that okay you can use that ability three times and then it's a uh, 11 second cooldown at level one not very bad okay so this build has damage with it and okay he slowed me down her damage is quite good um so she's categorized as a tank and a uh a fighter but the fact of most of her builds that I've seen so far, they've been less or more orientated towards, you know, what you see mostly on tanks. That speed up right there from that ability is insane. Uh, she's going to definitely be very viable character. You're going to see a shift towards probably this type of character. Because the amount of damage you can do with her and just run people down. It's going to be really nice. So let's check out the passive. The passive is if you go in bush, you get that shield and that regen right there. So with this character, you're gonna wanna be using and utilizing these bushes. And let's see, is it? Yeah, it's this one that speeds up. Let's get out from under that tower. All right, and here's the ultimate. Jumps towards the target and slashes down powerfully. All right, let's see if we can't, uh, get in a combo it's gonna be interesting so I'm thinking like of course we're gonna get hit and waste that regen we're we're gonna use uh, I'm guessing the B ability first for the combo so you're gonna want to run through all three of those abilities let that be on cooldown and then when the person tries to run run them down with that a ability uh, so let's try it here let's go in we're gonna burst with all those he's not able to run and finish it off with an ultimate and teammate finishes him off all right we're gonna get back out you can also use the a ability to initiate or disengage but the damage she's able to produce you see that a ability was used there to re, uh, to not re-engage but to get away so it's effective both ways and um, let's see if it changes so this is level two of it that I currently have. Uh, it increases 230. And I'm curious the movement speed, 30% for three seconds. Okay, so let's upgrade that. Does it increase the movement speed? Okay, movement speed is the same. It just increases the damage it looks like. All right, so that is a fairly quick ability as well. Uh, she's gonna be good for roaming. Uh, I would be very scared to see this character in mid Because you'll never know how fast she's gonna be able to drop down and just destroy somebody either in top or bottom uh, It's gonna be really fun. I can't wait for this character to come out on the actual servers Because we do need a shift and I believe this is gonna see a shift in the meta we need to get out of that. All right, he's got the range on me. And there's that escape. All right, and just hit the bush, get your shield. We haven't really been utilizing this bush, but Alpha has been cleaning up for us. So you need to utilize these bushes. Uh, see, if you stay in the bush, it regens you. So that's really cool. This character, uh, is outside of you know having to have mana, you're obviously going to be able to sustain fairly well if you work the bushes correctly. Uh, that might sound a bit odd. 
she is going all in already and nice nice bait go back now these uh, bushes here they got moved because this is the new map uh, currently the uh, the crab thing he's not in it so I'm not really sure what they did with that continuous damage build now I do not have any type of life still yet that out wow that's amazing survivability is pretty decent but we're gonna have to build into some damage uh, there's some physical attack get him chasing in we will regen up see if we can't take somebody out nice all right there's some damage this is uh the continuous damage build let's uh go ahead and regen some that is really nice that's that's something that i'm not used to you know being able to just dip off into a bush so you're going to be able to sustain fairly well with this character in a lane uh, i was saying mid earlier you know mid would be okay if you are very experienced and your team trusts you uh, that would be really fun to do but as far as you know being in the right place at the right time this character can move really quick and if you build right she possibly can put out some insane damage so that's what we're going to be looking to do here soon is do some uh, custom builds with this character this is just a basic uh, continuous damage build that the team has put together uh, so i'm not sure what the full outcome of this build is going to be but let's see that speed up lasts for three seconds look how much ground you can cover in three seconds all right we got rafaela caught nice cooldown reduction uh, that might be really interesting for this character because that second ability being able to hit that many times right here just and it's 300 damage at level eight so you're doing almost a thousand damage with that ability right there at level eight you cool that down it's what 40 percent that's going to come back within probably five seconds that's going to be a lot of damage and that's only the third level at level eight with a, just a regular continuous damage not looking for like any type of life sustain or life steal in this build uh, molten essence so let's go ahead and, and try to clean up some of this stuff that they are abandoning and all right let's see we have a maya that's kind of called out a little bit we're not going to be able to run in on her yeah she's gonna make it back to the tower but we might just be able to do this nice that's gonna be the perk for her is being able to jet in without someone knowing you're there and of course she's gonna be the bush survival type you're gonna want to use that bush to get those shields in that region so you're gonna be expected to go in and be surprising people now does this ability have a stun to it it does it temporarily stuns them okay that's really interesting so on top of having the movement like this these abilities are aoe we call a stun there okay there's the burn damage we're gonna run her down wow Okay, use that healing ability okay that ability's got it like a dash or something to it that is awesome get away from this stuff use your bush heal up this is gonna be really fun guys um, I'm definitely gonna be dropping the 24 kbp and probably grabbing the skin for this character uh, we'll look at the skin in the next gameplay for definitely and we'll do a custom build so we've got that down to seven seconds on the uh, the cooldown timer 
and her ability to just move around the map and just pop in on someone is ridiculous. So let's go ahead and farm up some more. I want to try to get this to full build just to see what their continuous damage build is going to do. No, uh, let's go ahead and grab the uh, blue buff. So 345. She has got a lot of movement speed. This character is going to be probably really frustrating to go up against. Get used to it. I probably can go ahead and say that because people are going to be playing this character a lot. Uh, at the cost of 24,000 battle points, over the past several characters, they've been quite cheap. Uh, 15k and 24k. So people probably have the extra battle points to just easily drop on this. And yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of this character. I guarantee it. Come in on the saber. And it looks like a lot of her damage, all of her abilities actually are AOE. There's some defense. And even with the defense building into it, you're still getting a lot of damage. So I'm curious to know what a build that's going to, oh, uh, we got her stunned under tower. Wow. Now I know that is a lower level Raffaella and those are bots, but like I was saying just a second ago, if you build into attack damage for this character, what is it going to do? How much damage is this character going to be put out? And with the passive, you know, the shield being able to go into the uh, bushes and regen, uh, I could definitely see this util being utilized both ways as a tank and a fighter that's not now i see why they're categorizing her like she is categorized because with her movement speed her abilities the way she can run somebody down or just in general just you know come out of nowhere and stun them and be able to either tank or do damage uh this is a character you're gonna definitely have to watch the builds on uh you're gonna have to pay attention make sure what your guys are building into that way you know what to counter build because this could go either way. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that one. Uh, we're pretty much just about maxed out on spells. Let's go ahead and take the turtle. I'm not really forcing towers because I don't want to end this. She, she does really nice damage though. Um, a tanky type character, I've never seen one take turtle down that fast. Now, of course, this is continuous damage and not a complete tank build, but she is rather tanky. Uh, we'll take a look at the stats in just a second. Very nice cleaning up ability for uh, minions, especially for this type. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much what we're at so far on the build. Uh, and it's actually got more tank stuff adding into it. Um, Let's check bushes and stuff. Okay, she just jumped over a wall. Let's try this again. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm gonna move up here. Okay, that's a rather decent range. Okay, can she? Okay, she didn't jump through a wall there. It kind of just made me go around it. That was weird. <clears throat> all right let's get down bottom and uh help these guys yeah it's just running around uh the walls there uh we'll let them take a tower or so all right let's go down here and destroy them Raphael's last one left Get that Oracle to get some health back again. The slowdowns. Nice. Going to be really, really hard to get away from this character. Uh, this might be a really good counter for assassins. Uh, for those assassins that like the jungle, try to come over and steal others' jungles. Uh, watch out. You're possibly going to be run down by this fighter slash tank now. Uh, this is gonna be really really fun. Like I've said, I keep saying that but it is it's I mean watch this It would take a good second to get the Maya right there, but 
come in, stun her, then you've got it up again and just run them down. Bam! This is going to be an ADC killer. It's This is going to be really fun. Um, I keep saying that. Yes, I know. But guess what? It's really fun. I caught that slow right there. All right. All right. The stun didn't go off there. Oh, we got a 3v1. Let's see what she's got. And they got a healer. All right, decent survivability. Let's get out, heal up. Look at the hit points she has. 504 regen just from the regen itself. You regen in 100. Oh, he stepped in the wrong bush. You stepped in the wrong bush, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great, guys. This is definitely gonna be great. What's up, Raffaella? Welcome to my jungle, baby. This is fun all right let's check out this ultimate recall uh, cooldown timer 20 23 ish seconds um i don't think i really have any cooldown reduction though on this build like i said this is a continuous damage build and when we finish it out just in just a second we will uh we'll see exactly what the full stats for this build are going to be Kind of give us a baseline for what they think the character is capable of with uh, a continuous damage build. Uh, is kind of the reason I'm doing this video. Her auto attacks. 325. That's not too bad. She's still tanky. That's that Oracle going off there. All right. And it looks like this is max build. Yeah. So this is the max build for the continuous damage. You've got the Craze Reaper, the Brute Force Breastplate, Warrior Boots, the Cursed Helmet, Heart of Steel, and Oracle. Now that does have a lot of tanking to it. Uh, the majority of your damage is coming from your first item that you get and the burning effect from that mask, uh, the Cursed Helmet. But sustainability for this character is pretty nice. Uh, let's take a look at the overall stats for the whole build. 10,095 hit points, uh, 1,840 mana, 331 physical attack. So yeah, you're doing about 330 something to minions on basic attacks. Attack speed's at 1.23, that's not really fast at all. There's no uh, attack speed really involved with this build. Movement speed at 324. Health regen's really nice. Uh, you do have a little mana regen in it as well. And uh, overall, it's, it's okay build. You don't really have any crit resist or anything like that, but this is a continuous damage build. It's meant for you to be able to sustain. So we just survived both of those. All right, we're, we're, we're getting a little too, uh, too antsy. All right, we're gonna try to burst this Raffaella here. And we're out of mana though. So Maya's gonna try to get a little crazy with everything she's got, but she doesn't have enough. So let's get some full mana and we'll make a final push and pretty much end this game. Uh, if you have any recommendations for a build, if you'd like to see you know, what certain item would be cool to build on it, or you know, if you have any ideas whatsoever, or if you just wanna see something before she is available for you guys to be able to play, you can let me know. I will uh, look at the comments. I'll try to reply to as many as possible, especially within the first hour of making the videos. Uh, I'm very active in the comment section. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Oh, middle lane, middle lane. No, you don't, Saber. No, you don't. Activated that. Come here, Saber. Come here. Nice. Okay, so we're doing uh, 227 damage to anything that is around us. So we took the stun. Imagine her with uh, some life steal. Yeah. See, we're not even running life steal, so that would life steal would uh, definitely increase our survivability. I know I'm not doing very much damage. But the survivability of this, you can just stay in so long and outlast everybody else in a 1v1. If you're capable of doing that, you're going to succeed. You're going to win. 
Uh, that is really the biggest key to this game is survivability and awareness. Um, but that is the game. They finished it off for us. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions about Hilda, uh, you want to know anything about this build that we just had right here, I'll show it to you. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yes, it was computers, but overall, the build, continuous damage, it works decently, uh, especially if you get ahead. You're going to be able to pretty much dominate the match. Uh, like I said, if you have any recommendations, though, I'm going to be doing my own custom build next on the next video. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And we're going to be doing a lot of tests, possibly streaming as well. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, like I said. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.